Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a mocha frappe. You are going to need one of these little coffee things. Um, sugar, any kind of sugar that you guys have around the house. I prefer this one because then you can close it and it stays fresh. Then I got Folgers Coffee Gourmet. It's really, really good. And I think that's the, um, it's like one of the dark ones. But it's going to, but in the end it's going to turn out really delicious. You guys are going to enjoy it. Then I got some Hershey uh, syrup. This stuff is really good. Then at the end, I am going to be topping it with cappuccino, mocha, rich, and velvet. It is by Community Coffee. Okay. And then you guys are going to need a full um, ice of, well, max ice. I have a machine that makes mocha frappe, which is called um, Mr. Coffee. And it says coffee frappe. I think you guys will be able to get it online. Um, I make frappes um, whenever I get a chance to. But if I'm in the rush, I'll go to McDonald's and get myself a mocha frappe. But um, when I'm at home, I try to make as much mocha frappes as, um, as I can at home or whenever I get a chance to. Um, but yeah, I fill it up. Most of the time, I fill it up a little bit more than what we need. Okay. And I'm going to set it down. Oh, and we cannot forget about the water at the end. So, okay. Let's clean it out. Okay, now I'm going to um, add the ingredients. First, I am going to put the coffee little, um, little liner in there. Okay, I'm going to put the sugar down. I got a few likes on Instagram. Um, I told, I said, if you guys want me to show you how to make um, a mocha frappe at home, then you guys um, like the page, and I am gonna show you guys how to make a mocha frappe. With me, I take, I want to say three scoops. It's actually not as dark as I thought it would would be. I thought it'd be like a really strong, but it's actually not that strong. Normally, um, I just add a little bit more because I just want a, um, a little bit more coffee in the morning to wake me up. Okay, and that's what it would look like. Okay. I close that one. Oh, and don't forget uh, to get some water. Um, it's only like two eighths. It's not yet a full cup, but it's just like two eighths of water that can um that can go in there not much can go in there but if you guys want to at home if you guys have a mocha um not a mocha frappe um machine but at the same time like just a coffee one in general um you guys uh can make some coffee first then get yourself a blender of ice or ice um that you guys can blend um add coffee um and then I'll show you the rest of the step okay hold on Okay, with um, with the sugar, um, normally you're supposed to add um, two s tablespoons. I forgot to tell you guys, two tablespoons of sugar. But me, I only do one tablespoon of sugar. And then I just like sprinkle it all the way around on top. Okay, then I close it. And I do three tablespoons, uh, sometimes four tablespoons of coffee. It's however much you guys prefer and um, how strong you guys would like your coffee. I don't think it makes it strong at all. It just makes it straight up delicious. Oh, and yeah, don't put, I almost put that in there. Don't put that in there, please. Okay, um, the, um, the chocolate syrup is the next um, um, ingredient. So you guys put it Hershey. And with me, I just kind of cover all the ice. It um, On the recipe, it says put two tablespoons of um, chocolate syrup. But me, I just do a little bit more than that. Okay, and the next step we do is we add water. It says stop at the line, but I go a little bit further than the line. I just make sure it doesn't spill out from the back. 
And if you guys ever want to make a mocha frappe, it is uh, so easy to just do it at home. And it just, um, and it saves up a lot of money in the long run. If you guys like mocha frappes and if you're like me, gotta have your mocha frappe. Um, you guys can just do that. Try to make it really where it doesn't, because it will spill out the back if I don't be careful. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. And then now let's start the process and it's going to be blending for a little bit okay whoa i don't want to spill it okay now you're done with all the ingredients and then just clean up and then leave this um, um out because you're going to put that as a top in and just mix it and you can put this up too um, but yeah, let's start. Okay, now it's just pouring in the coffee, as you guys can see. And it's just going right in there. And then you guys can see it rise somewhat. I had to focus it in. You guys can see it right there. Just going up. And I will uh, see you guys in just a moment whenever it's done prepping. Okay. It filled all the way up. And then you guys can see it's done. And then after it uh, gets done dripping, and then this power thing um, will still be red, but this will be blinking, and it will start blinking a bunch, and it will make bunch of noises be prepared there you go like when it gets done okay let me show you what it looks like whenever you pour it in the cup okay I'll mix it because sometimes it will have like little bubbles in there and it'll just like um, it'll just come up and it'll splash you in the face if you're not careful um, but yeah hold on let me put it down again and as you guys can see I already made myself some so uh, the more the merrier so I'm gonna make some more Put some more in here. Okay. And I have a little bit more left. Okay. I am mixing. I'm about to get the um, open up this cappuccino mocha. And then you just pour some on here. It, you don't have to uh, be gentle with it or, or anything. It's just like a little decoration for up here. Has like that cappuccino little taste to it. And voila, that is your mocha frappe. And if you guys want to, you guys can mix it. Oh, mix it. And then it just um just keep mixing. It. Make sure you hold it so it does not uh so it does not um what's it called? Spill over. Or make a really huge mess. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's what the mocha frappe looks like. You guys enjoy. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. You guys take care. Bye. Mm.